Hey everyone, um, so if you've been training with me a little while, you would have heard me talking about flossing or juicing the body. Um, as many of you know, I'm now doing um, some mentoring with one of my amazing coaches um, and mentor, Soisi Porchetta, who's been trained under Edo Portal. Um, I've always been fascinated by Edo's movement um, and I've shared with you all uh, a lot about what Edo does and what he's about. It's about keeping our bodies loose. We are in a world where things can become so rigid and stuck and so much sitting gets our joints really stuck and stagnant. And that not only affects our joints, but it also affects things going on in our body. So I spoke last night, if you haven't seen it, uh, on the chakras, moving with your chakras, um, which is uh, about how to get flow happening in the mind and the body. And it's really, really important. If we're rigid on the outside, if we're rigid in our thinking, we're gonna be rigid inside and things are not gonna be able to move. So what's really important is allowing ourselves to wake up and juice our bodies and this should be done first thing in the morning. So I really recommend uh, having a morning routine um, that is as soon as you get out of bed, um, go straight to the bathroom, scrape your tongue, get all the armor, which is toxicity, off the, the back of your mouth. So you, you, you can just use a spoon for that, really scraping the back of the tongue. Um, with the spoon or a tongue scraper and then wash your mouth out with, with water. So don't drink any water before scraping your tongue because you're just going to swallow the toxicity, the ama, the stuff that's built up overnight. So if, we're have, if we have poor digestion, you're going to find that the ama, the, the tongue scrape is going to pull off quite a yellow, murky and like solid kind of stuff, um, which shows it's a really good telltale of how our digestion is and, um, you know, what... Our, what's going on un, un, like inside our organs and how we're digesting our food, our thoughts, our information and stuff like that as well. Um, so we don't want to drink first thing in the morning before scraping our tongue because that, that dirtiness is just going to go back into the body. Um, we then want to have a, a very brief meditation practice if we can, just being still. Even just sitting down for five minutes to start, coming to five simple affirmations, uh, three simple affirmations that you want to bring into your day. So one might be, I feel calm today. The second might be, um, you know, I, I feel abundant today or whatever it might be. And the third one might be, um, I'm going to, to share um, something today, whatever it might be. So like three affirmations that make you feel good, just be still. And then after you finish your meditation, go into what's called flossing. So I'm going to run through with you this. I'm gonna do this in real time. Um, so that you can follow along. It probably will be about five to ten minutes or so. Um, and you just always work with your body as well. So especially when you're first starting out of this, just just do it. Your body will tell you where it needs to go. This is where we need to listen. So all we do is we start with one foot onto the, the ground and we start to massage around the ball of the foot. And the thing is, this is not done quick. Especially in the morning, what we're looking for is healing. We're looking for um, stuff that feels tight. We're like, okay, what's going on with you today? What do I need to look after? So with my back being really tight the last week, I've still been doing this every day because I don't want to keep my back more stagnant and stuck. It's just going to let it. It's just going to be more stagnant and stuck. So I've been moving and been doing what I can. I've just been listening um, and not not pushing or not challenging, not doing any jumping and stuff like that. But I've definitely been moving my spine. Sending it a message to say, you know what, it's okay to move. So take that back the other way. And if you have time, do this for longer. Like I said, this is just to start you guys off. But this should be done nearly every day. You oil your car, you put petrol in your car, but we don't often look after our bodies. And this stuff is so important. This is why I love Edo's training, because it is about nurturing and giving back and being compassionate. Good. So from here, we're going to stay on that same side and we're just going to lift up the foot and we're going to slowly rotate the ankle. And it's super easy to go quick here and I don't want you to go quick. I want you to just really feel what's going on when you slow down that roll of the ankle. Just take your time and go back the other way. Beautiful, and we're going to open the hip. So inhale to come out and exhale to come back in. So the upper body is really soft. So we don't want to hold any rigidity into the shoulders, the jaw, the face is soft. 
I like to do about 10 of these, but for the purpose of today, I'm just going to take you through five. Cool. We put that foot down and we're going to go straight to the other side. So walking through the ball of the foot. And again, this is also opening the knee and of course the hip joint. Take it back the other way. Notice what wants to cling on there. I noticed that I was grabbing on my, my wrist. I was making a fist. Try to soften. Try to keep. We want to stay loose. We want to be supple. All right, that foot's going to come up. We now start to slowly move around the ankle joint. So if you're um, recovering from any ankle or knee injuries and stuff like that or Achilles this stuff is amazing because we start to send a neural message Daniel Siegel talks about it in Mindsight called neural mapping take it back the other way where we are telling right now the ankle joint um, that it is okay to move around like this and we're, we're being kind to it we're nurturing around it we're giving it permission to move but you listen to your body. Cool, lift up that knee. We inhale the knee out to the side and we exhale, draw it back in. Inhale the knee out to the side and exhale, we draw it back in. So inhale and let yourself fall and wobble. This is what it's all about. Two more. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale the feet come together and we slowly move around the knee joint here so little circles now the feet are also moving here too so there's this big movement that's happening but if you've got any knee injuries go really little it's not about how deep you go you know some people might be and i've been moving a little bit all the morning so some people might even be able to come to their toes and explore going right down up and around there's no right or wrong and then when you've done about five, take it back the other way. As I said, if you have room and space to eventually do like 10 or 20 reps of this, like it's, this is your playground. Like it, you, your body is up to you. Your body is completely up to you. Um, every single choice we make, this body is a vehicle that we need to look after and be compassionate towards and nurture for it to work. Beautiful, moving up the knees now to the hips. So just, just side to side. This is just lateral. So we're not, it's quite limited too because we get compression. We get to here and we're like, I can't go anywhere else. So you're hitting compression, but you're also exploring down the outer hip as well. And also a little bit into the spine. Okay, so what's going on today? How does that feel? Right, my back is still a bit tender, but this stuff is so good for it. So with your side to side, we're now going to go forward and backward. So working through the hip hinge. So we're trying to get our bodies moving in every single direction possible. Right? Again, this is feeling so good for my lower lumbar spine. I'm aware of what my core is doing. Just exploring through the hips and then we're going to combine that we're going to start to move our hips in a circular motion so we're going to go five one way and five the other and i'm not doing this quick and then i want to keep my upper body really supple so supple in the shoulders what can you do to make this smooth one more Notice I'm going quite slow. It's tempting to go quick, but we're go back the other way. We're so good at moving fast. I want us to, when we do fast, fast is important. I'm not going to lie, everything is important. Right? But it's like anything, you sit for too long, we start to injure ourselves. We stand for too long, we start to injure ourselves. Nothing is meant to be stagnant. Everything is meant to be like water. We are meant to flow. The same goes for our bodies, and that's when prana, chi or energy is able to move through our energy centers our chakras and move stuff good all right here we are coming to one of my favorite ones now so we got the feet coming into this mountain stance 
So we're nice and strong here. And all we're doing here is just this movement through the hips. There is no right or wrong here, but your feet are grounded and you're just exploring. Like this, the, the wind can kind of knock you anywhere, but you're still having this strong grounding down. Very much linked into Kung Fu training, Jiu Jitsu, this kind of um, uh, really strong base kind of movements, but also soft, supple. Working through the ankle joints, the knees, the hips, there's almost, if you can try figure eight, let's try for a little figure eight kind of pattern through here. Beautiful one for opening up the hips. I like to do at least 30 seconds of these. And I actually like to go through this three times, but I'll go through once for today when you come up. Just slowly wriggle your feet. All right, I'm gonna skip out a few. There's quite a few other ones as well. What we're doing here is working into now, hips stay stable. Press the sternum forward, draw it back. Press the sternum forward, and then draw it back and in. Sternum goes forward, draw it back and in. The hips are staying pretty stable. Of now I'm moving into the torso, the upper part, I'm spreading my chest open and then I'm really protracting. It's quite challenging. Trying not to let my shoulders go up around the ears, sternum forward, sternum tucks in. Sternum forward, sternum tucks in. Cool. Now that you've got that, we're, I'll probably show you from this direction. We're actually going to now show you this one first. We're going to now slide side to side. So it's just this tilting. Shoulders are relaxed. Hips are stable. Trying to get this movement now through the rib cage. You're going to feel a lot of core when you do this. Then we're going to combine it. So we do something like this. So forward, around, back, and around. So forward, around, back, around. Let's go three more. So try to separate those movements now. Press the rib cage forward, throw it back in. Really big work into the core, now take it back the other way. So around. Cool, so around, back. Yep. Stone forward, pull back. I love this one. This gets everything feeling really open and separate. the shoulder so we keep this side pretty we're not locking it but it's still and we want to find this protraction retraction protract retract protract retract what I'm not doing is bringing my shoulder up around the ear so squeeze the chest muscle squeeze the lat muscle squeeze the chest Squeeze the lat, we'll go for four. And again, this is a great one if you have any shoulder injuries. You're letting the shoulder start to move with compassion and kindness, just to, just to your range. Good, shake that out, other side, so forward and back. So if you are nursing a bit of a shoulder injury, you start really little. And you start to create that through, um, basically through that neural mapping the um, message that, oh yeah, shoulder, it's okay to move, right? With neuroplasticity, we can do anything. We can change anything. Right up until the moment we die, our cells are replacing themselves all the time. So whenever things are um, 
a problematic fuss. We just need to work through it. We need to work with the current, not against it, not to keep it rigid, but soft, gentle movement. Beautiful. So from here, it's going to roll the shoulders and really big kind of rolls here. We're just going to go three of these. And then three back the other way. But if you're just starting out, try to do this three mornings a week. Everyone can do this stuff. And then from your shoulders comes your spine. So bend into the knees, we press with the hips, the belly, and then the chest. So bending the knees, hips, so pelvis, belly, chest. And just keep it slow. So work into your really nice spinal rolls. And as I said, even with a locked up back, you can see how much my back is just freed up just from doing this movement. Beautiful. And the last one is the neck. So with the neck, we just go simply down, half a circle. Pause and down. Now I'm just going to do one more of these each side. You can do more if that feels good because there's one more with the neck I want to do. Especially your desk, these are super important. And you are more than welcome to go back the other way if that feels okay. I don't usually demonstrate this one, but if it feels alright, you're more than welcome to go back that way as well. Now with the neck, we're working toward, we're going to work forward. And back is just the neck. Try not to use your shoulders, your traps, your hips. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Here comes a fun one. Make two little goalposts. With your neck and we're side to side. It's easy to do this. We want to try and good place to start as a mirror, hence why I've actually come a little closer. So I can see if I'm tilting my head or my shoulders are lifting. So it's sliding or gliding, let's call that. Good, and then shake out the hands, get into the wrists. It might be nice to do this too while you do this. Really, really good to jump if you can. I'm not gonna jump too much this morning. Um, so good shake out, and then we move it into this. It's one of my favorite movements. Now that you're loose, so we're just shaking out the body. So nice and strong here, or as loose as you want to. So you're just rolling, rippling through. It's going to be intense or it can be soft. Going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And last one is this beautiful wake up of the body. Nice strong fist. Oh, all into the digestion, the kidneys, the back, the kidneys again, the glutes, legs, chest, shoulders, neck. My goodness, my headphones have just clocked on. Too funny. All right. Oh my goodness, that's, that's hilarious. I don't, I don't know whether you just heard that, but a beachy just came on. Um, so that, that was it anyway, that was the last one. That, that body padding or whatever you want to call it is, is so good and you really wake up different parts of the body. So that's it. That's your flossing or your... Um, uh, juicing in the morning and I want all of you to try that at least three times a week the first like one of the first things you do in the morning after that little morning routine like I said um, your body's up to you my body's up to me um, we are responsible for our own bodies and especially in this time it is a beautiful time to get into a morning practice and a routine now while we can um, that stuff is like oil in your car putting petrol in your car you don't put petrol in your car it breaks and we, we um, 
we end up like feeling rigid and stuck and things will also get rigid and stuck inside of us. So let me know how you go with that one. Thanks so much, guys. Take it easy. Um, as I said, I've got the space here. Some of you have been coming here, which has been really, really good. This space is always open now, um, especially in winter. I won't be doing any um, like sessions outside unless it's like in the middle of the day or quite warm because it, I just it's not great for the body. We want to we want to be warm and nurtured. Um, but yeah, so the space is here. Um, I've also opened it up for a small group yoga, as you know, and small group PT. So namaste, everyone. I hope you stay well. Enjoy your weekend.